wrestling fans, are you ready? You better get those Magusta Pops. It's time for all the kayfabe. Ah! Oh, okay. Now we're 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 okay there. You ready? Yes. Are these good? Yeah. Are we okay, Fabe? Are we okay? Yeah, we're Shut live. Up, Davey. Are we live, pal? Yeah. We are live, pal. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the World of Cafe Podcast. Well, we have every in <laughs> don't do that technical shit. issue in the world. Every yes, technical we'll issue under the goddamn sun. I am your host, the venomous one, Nick Venom, along with my Four good friends. Staggerly Crockett, the professor. The man that puts the rainbow in Galaxy. I give you <laughs> Davy Galaxy Man. Except and I'm not also with Robbie <laughs> Hitler. <laughs> Which, speaking of announcement, we'll do that in a little bit. Because have, we have a big announcement to make. That's all stretch no, neck, it's Robbie. not that announcement. Wait, what? No, nothing. I always give Robbie a, a shit, a, a hard time about his necks on his shirt. I call him Stretch Neck Robbie. <laughs> I love Jeffrey, you, Robbie. I'll play with you, Jeffrey Bubba. the giraffe looks different these days after oh. four hours of us. <laughs> I'm trying to love you, Robbie. I'm just missing. Oh, I'm going to call you Jeffrey the giraffe. <laughs> Robbie hey. the giraffe over here. He just started the joke. Robbie, I was going to finish Robby the straight ass uh, giraffe. Look at him. No. Um. You know what happens when you make fun of me? You just made the list. We can't hear that, you dummy. I heard it. I heard it. Oh, well, shit. You just it. made the list. Anyway. I need a sound I hope you guys are having a great Monday night because we are absolutely live. We decided to go live on our podcast. And now, with that being said, I think it's time for us to uh, have a one-year hit. A one-year good stuff. Can I pull out the Pepsi Max? Shut up. <laughs> We'll do it live. Okay. <laughs> there you go. We'll do it live. Anyway, anyway, okay. you, just go ahead. you ready? Do it Let's live. Go. I can go right in it. and we'll do it live. Oh, me gusta. And there it is. Oh, me gusta. Get your me gusta pops ready. Yes. Thanks, sir. We have a brand new theme song, by the way. Go check it out. Whenever the episode drops, we have a brand new theme. With that being said, we have a very special announcement. Concerning our honorary fourth member, he is no longer our honorary fourth member. He's being fired from the show because he's got a long ass neck. I'm kidding. We're gonna sacrifice. We're gonna sacrifice him like the Undertaker did. Us. I think. I think he froze. I don't know. Oh, he, he's in deep. He's in deep thought. He's, he's, just, deep. He's, just, he's just thinking about it. It's okay. He's thinking. <laughs> yeah, he was contemplating. <laughs> froze on my end. I didn't hear anything. So anyway, with that being said. He is no longer our fourth our honorary fourth member. He's fired from the show because he's got a long ass neck. I'm kidding. As a, I think my crotch, oh my crotch just got wet. Oh, kidding me. That's not the announcement, by the way. That is the announcement. That is the announcement. Oh god, god. my damn. <laughs> Shut up, fuck y'all. Where are you going? Where are you going, Jeffrey? <laughs> Oh, my. oh, I don't oh. want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid because I got all the toys. That Why I are you ripping with? on this poor man? I'm trying to this goddamn announcement. It's going to be the whole fucking show. <laughs> oh, sure, just gonna be there he is. Okay. Now, now that he's actually here, we have a drum roll. Can we get a drum roll on the show? Yeah. <laughs> Robbie is now our fourth member of World of Kayfabe. Wow. Yay! You could have had the Price is Right theme or something playing. Oh, yeah! 
We're, we'll, we'll try it again as I'm right, right for my crotch over here. Let's get the guy with a million toys and toys. You're at the guy with a million toys. You're at the guy with a million toys. the best for so much less. You really flip your lid. So, with that being said, Robbie, take the floor. How does it feel? How does it feel? To be the fourth member of what a F and K fame. As I go pour this down, very bad. Let's go talk. It, <laughs> it, it feels great. Big Bob can't hear you. Hey, anything entertaining <laughs> happening on Raw right now? Uh, Ballard vs. Rose is actually pretty good. Yeah, I figured it would be good. Yeah. Dang, Nick just disappeared during the podcast. So, like, we're currently live right now, like, on YouTube? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're on YouTube we're, right we're now. Live, and, huh? and Nick just walks away, so... That's what I just good. said. Let, let me load up some, uh... Something. Uh... I'm looking up if I can find any news real quick. Uh... How was your weekend? <laughs> yeah. How was your day? So, apparently... Oh. So, Apparently last night, the the announcers had no clue that Pat McAfee was going to be coming out. Say his he, name again. Pat McAfee. McAfee. It's McAfee. McAfee. It's McAfee. Not McA- Mc- you, Whatever you just said. I, I I always think of the I always think of McAfee. Uh, hey Nick, it's Will the uh, Fabi, uh, all right? Yes, Will the Fabi. Hey um hey um. One of the oh, no. one of the text to speech things actually said it like Mike did. One of who? One of the uh, text to speech bots where you uh, like typing it and they'll t- speak it out to you. It actually said World of Kefabi. <laughs> I mean, some people say it like that. And I love how Davey just sends a picture of Robbie in the gr- in the chat. <laughs> That's he hilarious. Too, he was too memeable. He was great. No, but. Getting back to Robbie being the fourth member, we had long talks about this between myself and Dan. And at first, Dan was not very too pleased about it. We started out with, hey, man, look, I understand. You want your friends to be a part of this bullshit. But it's a three-man team. We ain't got time for this bullshit. It went from that to... You know, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> He, Rob, Robbie was like a, a a new girlfriend's kid that I haven't warmed up yet. Too. <laughs> That's a weird analogy, but go ahead. I I finally warmed up to the kid. <laughs> it, it took him a good minute because every time we would be on like PlayStation or something, we'd be doing like 2K22, and it's like the next day. Damn, we just talk about the match. We had a good time. Man, hell no, no. There was no psychology in the ring. There's no bullshit. All y'all doing is no selling, jumping off the ropes, acting like a bunch of dumbasses. This is bullshit. And you make the frogs gay. Oh, don't worry. (laughs) (laughs) What is a Wrangler commercial? What the fuck? (laughs) I love how Davey is just like, oh. Get your Wrangler 32 Slims. He's pulling his cock out. Oh my god. So anyway. Um, yeah. yeah, exactly. So uh, tonight uh, we'll be uh, talking about our the best moments of what a kayfabe. Uh, tomorrow night, tomorrow we'll make a year since we've been having the podcast, but that falls on Tuesday and everybody else is busy and everything else. Hey, and uh, I'm we added. Uh, I'm sorry, Nick. I'm gonna connect to my my mobile hotspot because my internet's acting up over here. Yeah, because you sound very low. How's the weather out there? Anyway, so with that being said, we also needed a fifth member as well. But the fifth member is not going to be on the show. The only time he'll be on the show is maybe promoting his little cons and eat outs and all that other shit, isn't it? <laughs> eat out. Wasn't, I, wasn't well, well, it's, You like that, don't you? Well, well, it's nerds eat out, but you know, we're not doing that, Dan. <laughs> oh, shit. Was it? Was no, it? Um, you can do what you want once you leave the premises. We don't. We just go eat food over there. That's what and we then do. we tag. <laughs> and then we tag the place and put turf records in on the, on the stop sign. Wasn't that? A- <laughs> oh, I forgot we put that there. <laughs> yeah, it's still there. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. What wasn't Virgil the fifth member of the NWO? 
No, Ted DiBiase was. Oh, okay, yeah, you're right. Virgil was like the head of security, but Virgil was like, I don't know, the eighth or seventh, eighth, eighth or ninth member. Because it was, one. it was Scott Hall, then Kevin Nash, then Hulk Hogan, then the Giant, then Ted DiBiase, then Six, then Scott Norton. Scott, yeah, Scott Norton, and then Virgil. So Virgil yeah. was the eighth, and oh, then Buff okay. Bagwell. Yeah, I want to say it was Buff after Virgil. I want to say. If anything, it was buff before Virgil, but slightly before. Yeah, like very slightly. But yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said, we want to expand our, our team. We started out with the three of us. Us three knuckleheads on Facebook. I decided to add in not, well, I don't know what the hell's going on with Robbie. Not uh, one, he, but two people. He's swapping his Wi-Fi on spot. Oh. Yeah. And so I decided to add Davey. Fun fact, Davey was actually a guest on the show the first time with uh, another group called the Gaming Collecting Club. Yeah. Cool dudes. Um, they were on our show a couple times. And Davey's been on the show at this point, I think, like the fourth time, if I'm not, our third time. Fifth time, because the one time he showed up, it was unexpected. Nobody was... One, Nobody two. pretty much saw that. So this would be the fifth, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the fifth time. Been. Dang, time. Yeah. Between you and Robbie, I got the most view, most times on the show. So, uh, yeah, so now Davey's promoted to media manager. He's the guy that pretty much does other promotions and all that good shit. And Robbie, same thing. He's been promoted to the fourth member. It's pretty awesome to have Robbie on the show. It's a dream that we've had for quite some time. Um, enough about this bullshit, though. We want to get to all the good shit. The juicy shit. The wrestling. Like the rumble. The rumble. That's right. Cause boy, yeah, enough, for the, to talk about. enough for the shappy crap. Let's get ready to rumble. I love how he did that and Joey got the crowd going. What are you doing, Step Bro? What are you doing, Step Lois? Why do you keep having that? Jesus Christ, <laughs> chill over there. Joey's I'll got the freaking sample. Pull out my willy, stir your asshole like a hot bowl of chili. <laughs> yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, this past Saturday was the Rumble, and boy, what do y'all think? Well, Davey's not going to understand it, but the four of us will. I'm going to just smile and nod. I, I, wish, <laughs> yeah. I, I, wish there was, I wish there was more surprises in, the, in it. It was kind of predictable. Yeah. It was it well. Was, the, it was sort of like you were playing like a WWE 2K game, and they were just putting random wrestlers in at times. Yeah. <laughs> hey, like Chelsea it? Green came back. Hold on, Dad. Because like Chelsea Green came back, and as quick as she came back, as quick as she got eliminated. I was like, a, I was afraid she was gonna break her wrist just falling out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we we caught about that the whole time. It's like, oh look, she's coming down the ring. Coming down the ring. Be a shame if she broke her wrist. For the fifth like time. Oh, joke with Kevin Nash. No, at that point she would be breaking a quad or something, or tearing a quad. All right, go ahead, Dan. What do you want to say? Oh no, I was just gonna say it was. I I enjoyed it for the most part. It was way better than last year's. Oh, that's and that's what I said. I think the women's Royal Rumble again was better than the men's. Yeah, yeah last was. year and this year. Yeah, like I no. like there there was there was nobody in the rumble that I was like, oh my god, I can't believe they're back in. But like like the women's was I like, oh, oh, really? They brought Nia Oscar. Jax back. <laughs> but hey, hey, no, the cool thing about that is, and um, I read today on WrestlingNews.co um, and Wrestling Observer Radio that Nia Jax isn't back full time. It was just a one off. Thank but, oh, god. thank god. But, thank I, god. Thank I, god. I have doubts on that when they're selling merch for her though. Doesn't mean anything. I don't it, think it means anything, to be honest with you. I mean, if if anything, well, she was screaming in the ring though that she's back though, so I don't know. <laughs> but she also said that she had no like no uh, no future plans of wrestling. Yeah, it's as it far was as just I'm concerned, one-off. from what I was told, from what I read, not told, from what I read, was that she was completely done with wrestling and she wants to focus on a modeling career. She also had like a lingerie modeling stuff. Which okay, whatever, whatever floats your boat. I mean, hey, it's I mean, cool. 
<laughs> if you think about it this way, they put new rock, new merch for the Rock out, and he's not coming back either. So yeah, but oh yeah, and also putting like retro stuff too. Robbie, if you don't mind, you're a little low. You're very low on your end. Turn your volume up. Yeah, turn your volume when you mic uh... up. Before I stir stir you like a hot bowl of chili, all right? Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, stop. Uh, you might have to adjust me on y'all in because uh, my mic's all the way up. If you left click his video, I mean right click his video, you I can, got it. You can turn his volume up on your end. Yeah, I got it. I got it on my end. So yeah, same but no, here. like I, here's the thing. I agree with Joey. I I felt like especially with the men's, the men's we were supposed to have Jay White show up. Jay White never showed up. It was it was a big rumor that he was going to show up at the Rumble. And I was going to pop. I was like, bro, I was ready to pop out. Like, dude, I, this is a guy from New Japan. It's going to be awesome. I am glad that uh, Vince McMahon didn't show up like some people predicted. <laughs> Daniel? What? Oh. You you predicted that? Oh, that was but just a whole... What. That was just a wholehearted joke, though. I'd never... But no, I, after yeah, you, that's, that's basically how I felt. That after you said well. that, after you said that, though, I did read there was speculation on Vince coming back in the Rumble. <laughs> that's like, like David going to Rumble. Why are you even in the Rumble? <laughs> Speaking of Rumbles, uh, GSW is having their little Rumble, but it's security guards. It's security. It's a security battle royale, and it's going to be hilarious as shit. This I cannot wait for. This I know David, about. Are you, are so you going to this? I bought like a second row ticket. Yeah. Oh shit! So you already you already got your stuff going. I'm invested in it, dude. I gotta go. Look, there's three people that I want to support. They got you know Nick Nitro. He's a super cool dude. He's been like promoting the hell out of it. They got my buddy. Uh, is that dude's name Austin? Tyler. I'm sorry, it's generic names. Tyler. Yeah, Tyler's there. He's Tyler Verdon, super cool Kerry. dude. He's gonna be, you know, trying to get the title. And then you got my good buddy Kerry Grow. He's also trying to get a, a GSW title. So that's super contract, cool. Not title. Con contract. That's what I mean. Look, I'm still learning this stuff. You're close. But yeah, he's trying to get a contract. I tell you what, it's I some know. heated competition in the Louisiana wrestling. Dude, right now. Uh, not like, only that, the last they show had they a had, fight. They had a the fight last, at the yeah, last. Yeah, they got show. they got in a fight. we I was literally front row, and like yes. out of nowhere, like you can ask Robbie. Robbie was with me. Literally, there was a fight that almost broke down, and it's like I looked at Robin like, mm -hmm. "Bro, is this real? Like, what the hell's going on?" And sure, it turns out it was actually real. And I pretty much heard it from all three of the wrestlers, different sides, and it's like a big old battle Same. royale. Like, with the way they're like, saying it's crazy. So I'm, like, cool. I'm not gonna like air out dirty laundry. I'm not. <laughs> I feel like Carrie's point, give or take. I feel like his stuff is valid. Oh, I kind of hope he wins. Yeah. I think, to be honest, if Kerry... I, th I think he looked like a million bucks. I think if anything, if he's if he's done if it's done right, Kerry could be something big, bro. I'm gonna oh. say this: he's been trying hard. I've been yeah. kept up with his work since we became friends, and he's like been working at the gym he's been working with gsw to get yeah. trained he's been working at this a long time he's so him versus like tyler will be interesting because those tyler, two guys have both been trying for now, a long not only time. that you look at tyler tyler is he's jack right the man's jack the man's got the body he's got he's got all the tools but it's like i told him he's gonna probably end up needing a manager yeah carrie yeah. i don't know i don't think carrie's gonna need a manager I think Carries could do good on the mic. I think he can do well on the mic. Dude, he's a character. He Nick, pops out yes. like a character. Nick, like he, he, Nick. he keeps composure as like staff, but look, I know him outside. He yeah. can do a whole thing. I'm just saying he can be he can push himself. Go ahead, Joey. Nick's trying Sorry. to put Nick's trying to push himself as a manager. That's right. <laughs> it's gonna be the new to slide my way. Carrie, you need a manager, bro? Give me, give me a... Gonna be the ne you next. You watching this episode, Carrie? Give me a holler if you need a manager. Just it's saying, gonna be bro. the next Lou Albano or, or Tyler. No matter. <laughs> no matter. We got the next Paul Heyman well, here, guys. As it yeah. is, you know, uh, Nick Gobert, like uh, Nick Nitro, he he wants me to. Be his manager bad, and I'm still like, man, I gotta think about it. Like he really wants me to go. I, do the it funny for thing me. is, I can see you pulling out a manager. I can see you do like some goofy ass Galaxy jacket type shit. Like well, he goofy said, goofy. do whatever I want. He said I can do a Davey, lucha mask, whatever. Davy Galaxy, that'll be your <laughs> ring name. 
Davy Galaxy. It's got to be El Galactico, man. Or El... Well, then you got to have the mask. You got to break out the, the space yeah. mask. Can I bring let's, the... Yeah. Let's call, him, let's call him Thunder Floyd. Thunder Floyd. I, Thunder Floyd. <laughs> I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Floyd. Thunder Floyd. Okay. That's right. Oh, yeah. Rosa, now does a Thunder Floyd, apparently. I'll be the light so. side of the moon. Yeah. Ah. The storm from down under. Oh, okay. That, that just sounded wrong. From down under. No, yeah. but uh, the Royal Rumble... This past Saturday, I thought it was absolutely great. I think it was it predictable, yeah, because we knew who was going to win. I knew who was going to win. Cody was going to win that. All the hype videos, all the all the stuff leading Build into up. all the roads leading to Roy Rumble. See what he did there. All the yeah. roads leading to there. It's like you know what? I think Cody Cody should be the one beating Roman for the title. Though, uh, I Gun honestly think that. Though Gunther put on one hell of a performance last night. Man, oh, did he? Wow. Bro. Did yeah. he? Dude. Gunther was badass. Oh. He smashed the record spot? for... How about that spot with Logan Paul and Ricochet? Dude. Oh, bro. That was wild. Oh, that, my that, 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 that. that was something straight out of a video game. Oh, yeah. Well, Thanks. if you've seen the match with Carmelo Hayes and, and Ricochet... And Worlds Collide, they did something similar to that. Yeah. They had a spot similar to what Logan Paul and uh Oh, it was like, it like a springboard crossbody or something? Who, who's tapping on their desk like crazy? Not me. <laughs> I just adjusted my fan. What you talking about? Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Dave. God damn it. Love you guys. <laughs> Be a fucking man. Let me tell you some right now. Oh John. my god, man, you need to do that on this. Let me tell you some right now, John. Stop tapping the desk. Be a fucking man. Round one. Fight. This, this is why you're not the fifth member. This is why you're the fucking promo guy. Hey, somebody's <laughs> got to keep it alive. Yeah, somebody's <laughs> got to keep the kayfabe alive. Literally. No, but uh, yeah, the Rumble was awesome. Uh, Rhea, I I felt like Rhea Ripley winning was great. So well I'm pissed at who she's going after. Instead of going after fucking Bianca Belair, no, you're going after Charlotte. Why? I, I okay, because I, I, I think that, she's I think just trying to get a win back from a couple years ago. They're going to continue that. Oh, so, I mean, it happened. The, the Bianca, she wasn't going to win against Charlotte. Was, I, I can sense. tell you that. I think Alexa Bliss and Bianca Blair, Belair is going to last until the rum. I mean, until Mania. That's why. You think so? Yeah. yeah. Nah. We'll see what happens. Gonna, I mean, that we're match. Gonna full on, we're going to get the full on dark Alexa Bliss coming out. Yeah. Sister Abigail. Speaking of which, how, how about that lights out match, man? That was. It was quick. Dude, but I thought the finish was pretty cool. It was weird, but I could tell you one thing. I've never seen a wrestler be more creepy <laughs> as with Man, Bray yeah. Wyatt. With the red eyes yeah. and everything, a Bray Wyatt with the face paint and everything. That shit was cool. <laughs> did he switch <laughs> up, did he switch into a mask towards the end? Yeah. No. Okay. Did he? Yeah, yeah cuz I didn't mask. I didn't see how he switched. I'm just like he looked oh. like he looked like Predator from uh the movie. <laughs> yeah. He basically looked like Predator. He's like I'm Predator now. So yeah, what, what, ruined it, shit, what ruined it for me, and it's such the littlest minute things, but like having the Mountain Dew logo in the ring ruined yeah, that, it. Was, that ruined it for me. It, it was cool. Like we finally got like a logo on the ring. Like yeah, yeah. It kind of gave me like WCW AEW yeah. type shit. Like yeah. that's cool and all. John Silver from AEW tweeted out that he can't wait for uh, AEW to have a Mountain Dew Baja Blast match. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Baja Blast, but you have like the two sides of the ring filled with Baja Blast. With, a, you, yeah. with, with slides that go down into the ring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm coming, boys! I mean, shit, they did what? What, what, the Mimosa match or some shit like that? Yeah. That was like, what, 2020? It was... Yeah. Cat it, Orange it, Cassidy. It was during pandemic. Which is funny because Davey likes Orange Cassidy. And it's like, really, you like wrestling, but yet you like Orange Cassidy? It would still be better than the... No, what was the death match? Exploding Fucking death exploding match barbed wire death match. Which, by the way, is actually on AEW Fight Forever. Oh, That's God. actually gonna be on, on there. 
I can't so wait. I'm very interested to see what they're going to do. Can't wait for the uh, sparklers to go off. <laughs> yeah, well we, want, well, we need Michael Bay to make this. We need Michael Bay to, make, to simply put this version on the game. His his take his take on it, you know what I mean. So, I think that'd be pretty funny if that's the case. But speaking of games, um, I over the weekend got my late birthday gift. I am now officially a proud owner of the PlayStation Five, and whoo, it, it looks great. It's better than a fucking Nintendo's. I tell you that. That's right. I said it. Still rocking PS4, baby. PS4 Pro for the win. I love it. Same. What you got, the Spider Man one? Oh, wait. Of course. Oh, wait. It wouldn't be dated if you didn't have the Spider Man PS4. Wait, you should see all the Spider Man No Way Home pops I just ordered last week. Did you really? Spider Pig. They had like Spider a bunch of the. Does whatever Spider Man Pig does. Can you swing uh, from a web? No, we can't. He's a pig. Look no. up. Um, I will. I will say this. The Spider Man. <laughs> can the Spider Man come, out, come to out to play? <laughs> you know that. And that's the thing. Like I, I feel like it's a goddamn shame. Like he was not featured in any of these games. <laughs> he's one of the best villains that, that Spider Man has. Well, he's in. Give... He's in the movie game for Spider Man One. Yeah, I get that. But I was like, you could have put him in here. Yeah, yeah the movie than, game is based on the movie, so like, it makes right. sense. Well, yeah, well, Spider Man, uh, I think Friend or Foe, he's in it too. That's a good game. See, that game right there, it's got Venom in it. Venom looks badass. But it's just. I don't know. Oh, you want to like the Spider Man 3 movie game then, right? <laughs> That game can die in a dumpster fire. Uh, Fuck that game. <laughs> but it's it's so bad that it's good. It, it, it really is. It's so bad that it's good. But no, I picked this up over the weekend. Along with my PS5, I bought these two games. These two games in particular are my childhood. S- especially this one. This one I have more like a connection with. This one I played a few times. It's not that bad. But it could have been better. Especially like with the villain lineup, because you had like Electro, Shocker, The Beetle, Hammerhead, like Sandman too. Like, okay, cool, Sandman's awesome. And even the lizard, like you had the lizard on there, which is great. But it's like you could have added Craven the Hunter. Uh Morbius could add him. Uh the I Goblin. See- I think Morbius is in one of the Spider-Man movie tie-in games. I don't know why, but they threw him in there as a side character. I th- He's in it's there. not two. I, it's think not, it's, I don't think it's one either. I think, I it's, think it's the third game because they ran out of like villains to put. Because all the tie-in games have side villains that weren't in the movie. Like Mysterio's in, I think, Spider-Man 2. Two. Which is pretty cool. Ridiculous. But, that boss fight was ridiculous. <laughs> Super Man, ridiculous. Thing. And don't yeah. get me started on, on the Doc Ock level, because that's like a Dark Souls boss. Like, it was just... <laughs> oh, it was crap. Y'all talking about the game? I think y'all talking about... Yeah. You know, Spider-Man yeah. 2, it's, the movie game? The, 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 the best movie based... Ti- the best movie tie-in based game. I have and my copy signed by Sam Raimi. also had got the, uh, the inspiration for the Batman dodging mechanics from Spider-Man 2. That's actually a fun fact. It's such a good game. It really, it really is. is. Very, very good. Love to add to my collection. It's pretty cheap. It's uh, not that game expensive. Exchange, game Exchange had it. And he froze. Damn. <laughs> I'm going to just clip that real quick. Oh, I'm taking it. That's mine for the taking. Can everybody see me? Yes. <laughs> yeah. You're so... Yeah. Maybe I hate you. We would love you, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, bear with us. We're live. We're trying to get this shit rolling. We're trying to shit? Nick's using a dial-up modem and AOL. Oh. Evidently so. <laughs> Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. Yeah, 
Yeah, Joey, it, would you mind putting the, uh, the, the chat log? I forgot to, uh, you forgot to do it. We've been, we've been no, dealing with this it. technical issue I, bullshit. I didn't it's forget. It's been I, bad. I, I, I posted it at 6.55. <laughs> Here we go. You, oh, you, 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 which is my command. Why do I look so hunched? <laughs> why do I, I... Oh, he sent it on Messenger, that's why. Wait, what was sent on Messenger? I sent something to Discord. No, no, Joey sent the chat log on Messenger instead oh, of... Oh, oh, my bad. He didn't see the surprise yet. Oh, boy. So, yeah, um, over the weekend we had Roy Rumble... And then we had Sami Zayn turn on the bloodline. Yes. That that once we made the entire rumble like a 15 out of 10. <laughs> Nick's frozen again. I wish I didn't laugh at it. He's like this. I will He's like fucking this. destroy your bloodline, you fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I said. <laughs> That's exactly how he said it. Oh, boy. Sam's like, I'm done with this bloodline. Die! And it's like he hesitated. The dude hesitated. Yeah. Right? What are y'all doing? Anybody catch, did anybody catch how, I, how it happened, though? When he hit Roman, how Roman fell? Yeah, just like he did when he got hit by Seth. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. His, yeah, his weaknesses are chairs, apparently. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. you do have to you do have to say though that when Roman Reigns gets hit in the back with a chair, I love the way he sells it. Really, Davey? Yeah. Oh my god. He's so Davey, dramatic. Really? He's so dramatic really? when he sells it. It's amazing. <laughs> Got you some new profile pics. Can sell a good, uh... <laughs> hey, it's new profile pics. <laughs> yeah? It could, it could happen. It, it's yeah, actually man. new emotes, too. Yeah. That's good server emotes for the podcast, sir. I am about to say, the last one especially, they're like, these <laughs> Yeah, drink it in, man. <laughs> drink it in. Drink, drink it, it in, in man. man. I'm surprised you ain't got that shirt on, Dan. No? What? Oh, my Jericho shirt? Yeah. No, nah, bro, I don't... Now, he's got reps in the winter. I, I had, no, I wore my Uzi shirt. But you, know what, though? you know what, though? Me, you, and Joey, dude, when you represent Bullet Club, you're Bullet Club for, 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 life. for life. You know for what? You life. should. Joey should have had the freaking soundboard for that one. The for, for, for life, but for life. don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> give, us, give him a second. He'll find it. Oh, yeah. We may have to get that. Oh, this one over here. I finally got it. Dave's Game of Galaxy. Bullet Club for, 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 for life. Dave, you don't get the reference, but sure. I remember, I like, the first, I remember like the first wrestling show that Davey went to, right? God, the thing God. was, he tried to too sweet us, right? I said, Davey, whenever you go to too sweet, this is how you do it. You put you put your your two fingers, your two middle fingers, and you put oh. like this. Davey busts out, yeah! It's like, you're almost uh, there. Yeah. You're, you're almost yeah. there. <laughs> And like I puffed just looking okay. like no, you don't you don't do that yet. I mean, it took me a minute to understand the whole Zero Miedo thing. Yeah, it took me a good bit to understand this. I was like, what are you saying? I asked him that for like a month. What the hell are you saying, Nick? Zero, Zero fear, fear is, is oh, I learned this, but but still I was like, What? <laughs> well at hey, that look, point, hey, Davey, David, don't don't you smart ass us, all right? Yeah, jackass. What the fuck is wrong with you? Just because you got your I mean, own look, damn I, might, I might just have to bring this whole thing on the camera for you. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, Put me down. Shit. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way that was it. perfect. It was too perfect. Man, speaking of which, so we're getting Samoa Joe versus Darby Allen this Wednesday on uh, on Dynamite. I don't no, know how I feel about no this. Holds bar no holds barred. It's a... Really? No holds barred? Yeah, it's no holds barred. Really? Yep, so you know that Darby Allen's gonna get fucking ragdolled everywhere. All right, he's, he's gonna get fucked. Back. It's gonna be a good match, but I want the king of television to get his belt back. I want I want Joe to pull his cock out. 
Yeah. That way, <laughs> that way we can get the his blowing his cock out. Whatever. Now that I just, now, I just, I just his blowing his, his cock out. Just, there you I, go. I, I, I just want to hear one dude in the crowd go, "Twist his dick." Twist his dick. I did that. I said that in the Royal Rumble viewing party. Uh, sorry, this past Saturday, I said, "Grab his dick and twist it." <laughs> Give him the old dick twist. Or that one dude in the, or that one dude in the TNA Ooh. crowd where he was like, "Put him in a body bag, AJ." <laughs> ah, boy! What the hell are you eating there, bro? Ziploc pizza. bag, pe- Ziploc bag pizza. It's pizza time, man. It's pizza time, all right, you Ninja Turtle. That boy said, "I'm gonna eat it straight out of a fucking pizza Ziploc time. bag." There we is go. Is it cold or is yeah. it? Ew, you Dude. eat no pizza. All right, hold on, hold on. Where's the pizza? Where, where, hold on, where's the pizza from, though? Domino's thin crust. <laughs> <laughs> the thin crust tastes good cold. I like it cold. Robbie, sorry, it's da- a good thing sorry, Robbie Dave, wasn't there. Yeah, sorry, he, Davey uh... just que- Davey, Davey just queefed himself. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as bad as last Monday. Jesus Christ. So last Monday we did the unboxing video for my Russell Creed and, 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 <laughs> and Dan had me dying laughing for like a solid 10 minutes. It was hilarious. But no, um, getting back to Rumble, I thought the Rumble was great. And I'm going to keep saying it. I thought the Rumble was great. The ending was just as great as the whole pay-per-view itself. However, Hardy performing. <laughs> oh, God. That was horrible. Oh, my God. That was the worst. That was I, horrible. I want... WWE to ban live performances because everyone that's been live lately have been horrible. <laughs> uh, that was the worst performance since they got a uh, what's her name to do Ray Ripley song live. Oh, yeah, that y- yeah, <laughs> yeah, that that was that, it's, it's uh, not what, the same. It's not the same as it used to be. Yeah, once they announced that Hardy was going to be in the ring singing, I was like, "Yep, piss break." I, I, I do yeah. find. Um, uh, oh, excuse me. D- Dustin oh, Ronald. We need to stop burping on the mic because uh, that was a spot. There was a spot where Dan burped on the mic. And oh. I tell you what, I laughed a good 15 minutes. I had to rewind it, fast forward, rewind it, fast forward. And it's just, it's priceless. It really is. So somehow, some way. Somehow, some way, Dan made me laugh in many ways in one. Oh, hey, did you get to check uh, Juice's year end episode or shout out Not on yet. that? I need to, I need to check that out. Yeah, um, it, it's the final episode of 2022, 13 minutes and 37 seconds in. Yeah, so again, thank you boys for the shout out. It was brought to my attention by Dan, Dan, the man who watched the show. Um, I haven't had I haven't had time to watch the show yet, so it's like I've been ripping and running and all that shit. Uh, oh. Kylie says, uh, by the way, Kylie says, "Hey everybody, Cody just won, so I guess Cody won against Finn Balor." Yeah. Uh, oh, excuse me. Three what, crossroads back to back. What's going on, Kylie? See, that's the thing. I wish we get more Balor versus Cody Rhodes. I feel like that needs to be a story angle. You know what I mean? Because notice how he's like, oh, this is mine. This is mine. You know what I mean? It's like, dude, we can get that later, like somewhere out, somehow down the road. Oh, you know where we're ultimately, you know where we're ultimately heading to, right? Edge and Balor at Mania. Yeah, which I'm, okay, I'm okay with that. Our, our, our Edge versus Taker. Or Finn Balor versus <laughs> the Taker. Ooh. No, Robbie, no Demon Balor versus Taker. No. Nick, WrestleMania. WrestleMania. We're going to have a cinematic match at WrestleMania. We're going to have a Hot Topic match. That's exactly what Robbie's going with. Robbie's like, oh, we're going to have a Hot Topic match. Because one's one's an old gothic man. The other one is, I'm going to paint myself and dress my head with... Fucking belts and, or, and yeah, and I'm gonna and paint um, my head and dress in my belts. I'm gonna go off to a camp no more. <laughs> no, but Robbie, go and, 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 and we'll also have oh, this guy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know 
the fuck out. And burnt on the bike. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll have this guy come back too. Jeff Hardy. <laughs> Just Brother for, Weedo, I just, knew you come home. Just, just, just so we can have everybody in hot topic. <laughs> I was gonna say, Ethan Balor versus Undertaker is prime. Oh hey, yeah. Hey Nick, uh, I was just looking at something on my Steam account, dude. On the PC version of Fire Pro, dude, I've put over six hundred and thirty-six hours into that game. God damn! The way how you I just know, said that, dude. I thought you just yeah. said stink. Your your stink. Stink my again. my my Steam account because I play Fire Pro on PC a, as well. Stink account. What's uh what's Fire Pro? Fire Pro Wrestling World. Okay, cool. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. It is quite possibly one of the best wrestling games. That's not WWE. Quite I play possibly. too much uh too much Black Ops Zombies on PC with friends. Oh, oh yes, and I've seen that, and it's hilarious because they even it. have a mod of Taco Bell. Dude, we play the Taco Bell map. They got a McDonald's one with the evil Ronald and shit. They got... Do they have the play zone <laughs> area? Yeah, they have the play place. Yes! <laughs> they do. Yes! And you gotta go through a teleporter to get to the play place. <laughs> oh, it's like a secret what? area. It's crazy. Get here is the McDonald's place. I can hear Davey go. I can hear Davey go. Hey guys, I'm in the ball pit. I'm in the ball pit. Repeat. Like I'm in the ball like pit. Piss and shit. Yeah, it smells like piss and shit. At least where my McDonald's was. I mean, it's like we had, they had to decontaminate. Well, the ball. I'll area. be honest. Like shit on there. All of the good old sweet Homa uh, McDonald's locations probably smell like that, Dan. Horrible. Well, you know what? Oh me and uh, oh, me and the wife were driving home the other day, and we were <laughs> we were gonna go to McDonald's and eat. And we're like, let's just go let Violet play. And then I'm like, no, I do not know what's under them balls. That's disgusting. <laughs> That's what she said. That's what she said. But no, like, <laughs> dude, sound like a Seth Rogen over there. <laughs> <laughs> They actually just finally released a new a new thing about the Mario movie and you get to hear Seth Rogen for like a few seconds. Oh, and uh... He went, ah, you picked the wrong one! <laughs> now you die. And he just punches him. And that's it. <laughs> I have the, uh, the remains. Scott Hall did not make it. Scott Hall died? He killed... Scott Hall has died a second time. Oh, that's right. That's the guy that died. This is Tom. Was yes, that's the guy that died. I'm this, is Tom, this is Tom Morgahan. I'm a, I'm well, CNN. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was trying to find it. I couldn't find it. The real news <laughs> brought to you. Okay, so not wrestling related, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nick was talking about how he has his games. I did over a week in pre order. Um, Hogwarts Legacy. <sighs> nice. <sighs> I got, I'm super excited about it. <sighs> I got so many friends that can't wait for Wog Hearts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I, like I said, I'm super excited about it. I'm going to get it when it's on sale, probably. Maybe. I want to read the screenshot. Uh, Damn it. Oh, you want me to get it? You want me to get it? Yeah. Oh, he's like kind of blurry now. Damn it! Shit! Who's blurry? Nobody. <laughs> Who's blurry? Nobody. 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 Don't nobody fucking lie to me. Who's blurry? Nobody is a blurry. Don't worry, little Nicky. We gotta we gotta calm down because I don't want to scare off our potential guests. <laughs> I don't want to. I want to have another sick Nick Bondo on our hands. Oh man, Daniel. How you are? You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Did I find another one? Did, don't okay. tell me I froze again. That's a little Did bit. A little bit. A <laughs> little bit. It's <laughs> <sighs> uh, great. It, it, it was perfect, though. Hey, Davey. Hi. <laughs> hey Davey, do you play Team Fortress 2? Hey Dan! Yeah, I used to. Yeah. 
I like yeah, how she just buzz out the Joe Swanson. We should play together sometime on PC. I like that very much. Hey, text me your Steam name. I think they do friend codes now, like Switch, which is weird. No, we you could you can look up somebody by name. Well, oh, okay. We should touch yeah, cleaners, definitely, definitely. too. Yeah. The people in yeah. I will yeah. say this. I deeply apologize for our technical difficulties. Yeah. Uh, I, I did the best I could with my, my internet was being stupid. I deeply apologize for that. Um, just the way it is. But now I can get back to what I was trying to say. Now that I have a PS5, I'm very excited for like 2K23. Definitely going to be pre-ordering that, which looks good. Um, we actually got an announcement. Uh, some of the matches that have been confirmed for John Cena's... Uh... Wait, what okay. are you doing? Who are you talking about? He's talking about 20, 2K23 showcase. 2K23. Fun. No, but who is he talking about? He just said, like, no name during that. I just said John Cena. Dude, see, he's like talking about a blank uh, character. There's nobody. Uh, the cover art of the game doesn't even have anybody on it. Like, what is up with that? This game. Yeah, I don't understand. They just <laughs> left it blank. <laughs> I heard that WWE even tweeted about it and made the joke first this time, which is amazing. Baba boy. I've trained him. I've trained him well. Did you see that shit? I'm learning. <laughs> Brittany, Brittany can't stand him because of just for that, for that particular reason. She loves John Cena. I love John Cena's like one of my favorite wrestlers. It's just because he's a cool dude and he's funny. I want to see doing. at least a peacemaker be one of his alternate skins on the game. There's, there's also the uh, there was a commercial that that dropped. It was him with just a hat floating. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. That was good shit. But yeah, now that I have a PS5, um, I got God of War, Ragnarok. <sighs> That, let me tell you, that game there. Surprise to meet them all. Good shit. Good, good shit. It's a good. Oh, yeah. Shit. Such good shit, dude. Uh, I'd never be playing it after we get off of here. Dan, this you, should be my user. If it lets me send Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? And his name is... Bruh. Cena. <laughs> <laughs> I have. I think I have this <laughs> My keyboard's you, being weird. Ah, Just to crawl under the counter. Oh shit! He's going underneath. Oh. His blood is cock out. He's pulling a Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> no, but so getting back to Rhea Ripley choosing Charlotte. I, who farted? Oh, <laughs> I thought somebody farted. <laughs> No, getting back to that, I don't feel it's necessary to have Charlotte versus Rhea. I felt like we could have had Rhea versus Bianca. Uh, that, that, I felt like that could have had a great storyline planned and all that judging, stuff. Judging by the crowd's reaction, they wanted Charlotte. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that crowd was super hot. <laughs> oh, dude, the crowd in San Antonio was amazing, bro. Like. Well, I'm talking, like about, what I'm said. talking about tonight on Raw. Uh, you, oh, yeah. you kept on hearing chants to, for her to challenge Charlotte. What I mean... In the wounds. Not only that, it made sense. Even though I'm not too happy about it. Yeah. It made sense. Think about it. I mean, they even brought it up in the past. She lost her... Dang, it says I've been on Steam for like eight years. Jesus. Well, Nick, <laughs> Nick's connection screwed up again. <laughs> oh, that was a good. I wish I could have screenshot that. I wish I could have screenshot that. <laughs> I'm getting internet connection is is bad. I do. I deeply apologize. It's Cox's fault. They could suck. They're pulling these Cox out. Yeah. They get suck. They're Cox. Anyway. No, but, um, but yeah, we're about to wrap things up a little bit. Anyway, yeah, it is okay. I hope it's okay because my internet's complete shit right now, and Cox's about to get a full piece of my mind. He's about to go full CM Punk on him over here. He's, he's gonna. I'm already sitting like CM Punk funky at this mode. point. I'm sitting like CM Punk at this moment. But no, 
Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say. Final thoughts before we wrap things up, guys? Davey, you want to say something? I love you guys. Uh, appreciate that y'all tolerate me and I do the same. Uh, let's, let's go for like a decade of this, right? Let's go for a decade. Let's shoot for the stars. Let's see if I don't ring out Dan's neck. Here's to one year and he has to 20 more. Tears. Yeah. Here's to uh to one year. Oh, I'm happy that I started this podcast with Dan and Joey. <coughs> Joey, oh, Dan, oh, get that shit out of here. Oh, oh, all I gotta say is, Dan, you got some shit on you. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Over here. Keep it going. Keep it going. I don't want to. I don't want to get flagged yeah, on YouTube. <laughs> oh, that's true. true. Did y'all hear that one? No. No, but did I hear that? This is this is my look when Robbie tries to put a sound bar and you can't hear it. That's what okay, I think. Okay, do you mean a sound board or a sound bar? Sound board, I'm no, sorry. It's... Sound board. Okay. You keep saying a sound bar. I'm like, do you want me to pull out a sound bar and show you what it does? <laughs> sound board, Davey. Sound right, board. He just gets the, the, hey, sound he just, bar. He just gets the sound bar off his entertainment center. He's like, You're... is this what you wanted? Is this what you need? <laughs> to start doing like the Star Wars guy. Oh, I gotta take a shit, dude. Anyway. Oh. Can I say no? That's all our, our viewers, man. Huh? Oh, me goose. Really? 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 What do really? Says, just... says the guy that damn near it bombed my bathroom. Bombed my bathroom. The week before, the week before Dave's, uh, not week before, the night before <laughs> Dave's caught. We can't, just some, what are you trying to? Just leave that right there. It's John Cena. Sniffer? I can't see it. <laughs> can't see it. Can't God see it. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, let me take off the stupid back. Yeah, take out the damn background. This was one of the things that they put in the retrocon suggestion box. Oh, that's the one that says penis. <laughs> Strippers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's guys, a... I'll be right back. And then get... this... we're gonna come back. We're gonna wrap up the show. So y'all just keep on going. I'll be right back. This other one. This other note. The only other note was wrote oh, in Nick's going. honor. By one of Nick's biggest fans. Yes, Nick has a fan, and he's trying to strive to be like Nick. So he dropped this in the damn box. My name is Jeff. <laughs> he's like, oh, he's like, oh, I want to be like you, Nick. And he just dropped that in the box. So, all right, Come guys. On, so Nick, Nick had to step out. He had to go fire off a floater real quick. No God! Yes. No God! <laughs> please, no, no, no! No! <laughs> I love that episode. Very funny. Ha, ha, ha. He had to go pull the toilet paper out of his ass. Oh, you thought you was funny. Ha, ha, ha. Y'all laugh. Ha, ha, ha. Jesus Christ. Hello there. Whew. Hello there. Woo! <laughs> no. I thought Joe was going to put that stupid prank on me again. You know the one, Joey. You know exactly what I'm talking about. That's I, scary. I, 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 I would have had to mess with the broadcast, so no. <laughs> uh, okay, who the hell was playing some, like, Scooby-Doo shit? Who I don't know, man. man. Well, no, I heard that part. Aww. Oh, look, I'm sorry. I apologize. I had to use the restroom. I couldn't hold it. But no, um, final thoughts before we wrap this up? Uh, wrong with her. Uh, I'm hoping Elimination Chamber can deliver. Yeah? Yeah. It's going to be AAA. It's going to be definitely different with that being one of the elimination chambers being for the U.S. title. 
I wonder if there's yeah. gonna, I wonder if there's going to be another one. You know, of course there's going to be a woman's probably, but um, yeah. Not to cut you off, Joey, but Adam Pearce did say there's going to be another Elimination Chamber match for the women. Yeah. And the winner of that match will go on to face Bianca Belair at WrestleMania for the Raw Women's Championship. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I guess it can make sense that why would you put the why would you why would you have the Royal Rumble up for a chance to win the belt and then have like the World Heavyweight Belt put into the Elimination Chamber? It makes more sense to put a lower t- belt in it to me, at least. Yeah. Dude, I, I think what I'm excited about for Elimination Chamber, dude, is to hear that pop when Sammy comes out, dude. They're in his home country of Montreal. Yeah, that's going to be it. Dude, and then, that crowd is going to lose its shit over they're, him. They're planning on doing Sammy versus Roman. That's going to yes. be the main event. So it's going to be Sammy versus Roman for the World Championship. But I think they're not done with that yet. I think, no. if anything... I'm not finished with you yet. If anything... I think it may go all the way to WrestleMania. That could be night one. That could be either night one or night two. And have, uh, oh, that's Scott Hall's arm. Huh. His other arm. He was anyway. like, he was in my ass. <laughs> Any, anyway, no, um, yeah, that's supposed to be the main event. But I think this is going to happen towards the end of WrestleMania. I think it's going to be like one of the main events for night one. More than likely. And then Cody versus Roman for night two. It could happen. I think that, that would probably be a... I, I say a first. I mean, Roman would be the first person to main event two nights of WrestleMania in the same year. Yeah? I mean, shit. This might be a year of breaking records. If anything. So... Yeah. Uh, before we go, uh, I'd like to say thank you guys for following us, for subscribing to us. We do have an Instagram page. Go check us out at uh, go check us out at Fortnite K Fame on Instagram, uh, Facebook. Same thing. Come check us out. Um, we're more social on Facebook than we are on Instagram. Me and me and Dave, I think me and Dave are the ones that do the Instagram. Yes. We, we kind of have control over that, and we need to update it. So, just follow us. We'll be posting the episodes. I've been posting the episodes as of late. So, all that good stuff. Um, I want to take this time to thank Davey for coming on our show. Uh, no check him out on his Twitch, which is what Dave's Gaming Galaxy. Can't miss it. He does some kick ass uh, Mario streams. Mario Kart Mario Deluxe. Stuff. Every Tuesday. <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's really good shit. Good. Thanks. <laughs> it's, it's good shit. Oh, yeah. And of course, you could also uh, catch Robbie. Robbie's got Twitch as well, but she barely uses. Oh, oh they, need to, they need to check out Roadhead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna say anything because <laughs> somebody always says it every time. Boom! Like, oh. <laughs> well, I knew if I didn't, Nick would say it. That's why I said it. <laughs> or Joey, Joey would have been the or one that would say it too. <laughs> somebody always says it every time I'm on the podcast. So, because I, I, I tell some one person, show and somebody else comes in with it. So I'm just like, fuck it, whatever. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so laughing at what Dave just said in the in the text channel, which I think is funny as hell. <laughs> what on this walk? The walk channel over here. <laughs> well, I'm sending y'all shit for emotes. <laughs> yeah. Deep thoughts. Deep thoughts. Deep so. Thoughts. Um. So yeah, check us out. Check me out. Call uh not called Boudreaux. Nick Venom on Twitch. Um, I'm gonna try to kind of get back in the groove. I'll probably be doing more retro stuff now that Robbie gave me an adapter that I can use for uh, for my PlayStation and all that good stuff. So, With that being said, thank you guys so much. If you like this video, which you probably won't, y'all probably not going to like this because it's nothing but a technicals nightmare or technicals wet dream. Uh, check <laughs> us out. 
We appreciate you guys if you subscribe to us. It helps us out in the algorithm. Um, also, hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss out any of our content when we go live. And Davey, stop blowing up fucking Discord with the text channel. She sound a bitch. Only like three. Only sit like three. Jesus Christ. This is why we don't put Davey on the show that often. This is why we, we, we have we have we have him put in the cage. Whenever and he's then the, and the boy, beast is know. unleashed for the special <laughs> spinoff episode. Yeah. Yeah. Davey in the corner. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, like we hope you have a great night. We hope you have a great oh, rest hey. of the week. Hey, tell everybody to check out our Facebook page for the uh, clues for our special announcement. Yes, we have a special announcement, but we're not going to do it just yet. We might we will do be, it. We'll be putting out little subtle teases to see if y'all can get it. And if you can't get it, man, leave your opinion in the chat. Message who you think it is. I promise I you promise. it's not Big oh. Mondo. I'm sorry. I promise ahead. you, old school wrestling fans... You're going to enjoy it. It's not Trust Nick me. Mondo. And it, no, it's not Nick Mondo. It's John Cena. No. <laughs> you see, really? he's, right, he's right behind me. Can't you see him? I <laughs> totally forgot. I've got <laughs> one small, more quick plug thing to do. If y'all are not busy on the 11th of February and you're near Livingston Parish, I will be at the Comic Con there. Uh, Promoting and mentioning about the Louisiana Retro Con, and uh, you can also come say hi and learn about my stream. So, yeah, that's what I meant to say. But, anyways, his stream sucks. Don't do it. It swallows. Oh, 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 the truth comes out. The truth comes out. I'm just joking, Davey. I love you. You know, I'm fucking with you. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm gonna get a mean text on my phone from Davey. Like, I can't believe you want to call me this shit. This fuck's wrong with you. You're not being a man, you bastard. Anyway, but with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I also want to thank Robbie as well. Robbie is now our official fourth member for those who have missed out on our... or just coming on here. We're about to wrap this up. Robbie is now our official fourth member. Dan's not happy about it, but he'll be okay. Congrats, Robbie. <laughs> man, just throwing Dan in the garbage can, no, man. No, Dan... Dan... No, Dan's not like that. No. No. Especially after what he did last Monday. No, no, not what, not even close. What did I do last Monday again? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Hey, do that one more time. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my God, you could. Did you Please capture post. that? Yes. <laughs> no, I got it. <laughs> you know, oh, bro. Yes. This is a work Maybe. of art. You need yeah. to go on the live stream and clip that one part and make it a gift. <laughs> I oh, can God. if you want. I can. <laughs> if that is a request, I can make it happen. So anyway, um, y'all guys, stay tuned. We got a lot. Of, we're, we're trying to get some big guests. We have one in particular that uh, we're trying to get. Uh, we're not going to say who. Let Let's just say. Let's just say we've worked extremely hard for it. Uh, oh no! Oh, oh no! Go check the one more thing. So we were talking about one thing. We were talking about World of best uh, moments earlier, and one we forgot to mention. I don't think we did it on on the podcast. I don't think we ever did our best after. moments yet. Shit, we gotta do that before we go. The prank call we did after the show. Oh yeah, was that that was a short-lived thing that we've never did. This is before we met Davey, by the way. This is before Davey was even oh. a thought. Dan had the idea of doing uh, prank calls to other people. And I prank called a truck stop. And and one of them wanted, to, <laughs> they wanted to have a wrestling match in the damn shower, which is That's not great. weird at all. Damn right, I wanted to. What's still one of my favorites was the episode when I actually wasn't there. And I think it was like a kind of a slight recap after my debut guest episode. And Nick's over here like, yeah, that's like my buddy Davey. You know, he, uh, <laughs> he's like, yeah, he, he don't know about wrestling. But I'm like, oh, yeah, CM Punk. He's like, oh, yeah, I know that guy. That's that guy that Nick talks about, wrestler. I laughed so hard at that episode. He, you know, I like that. that well, but it was a funny episode. You know, I like that one episode where we were all sitting in our chairs, you know, talking in our mics. 
And, you know, I don't I don't remember what day it was. It was on a Monday, preferably, and we were talking about some Monday. wrestling stuff. Yeah, we were talking about some wrestling stuff and how somebody, dude, had a, 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 a guy in a chin lock, and, you know, somebody laughed, and somebody played a soundboard, and, you know, that was my favorite episode. I love it. That's like freaking eighty percent of the damn episodes these days. Oh, dude, that that's why I love them because it's our podcast. Jesus Christ! All right, so my Ooh, favorite Scooby moment. Doo. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. My favorite moment. There's a lot of them, but the one in particular, other than last Monday night when we did the unboxing for my. Uh, oh. <laughs> Uh, it's hard. Probably when we had Breslin on the show, I think that was the start yeah. of something good. And we then we talked for a solid two hours, and the next day, Dan got pissed about it. It's like, hey, you know I had to work the next day. Why you had to do this thing two hours? But hey, hey, that was a cool conversation. Are you talking it about was. like the one? Are you talking about the one like we were just scoping over the his action very figures? First one, the very first Dude, time we had him on the show. Fun. That fucking was great. Fun. That was fun. He I is think the door is open for him anytime to be on. Another our show. one was when we had Dynamite, Dynamite Dave on the show. Dynamite that Dave one was, was fun too. That one was definitely good. We were all sick. We were all sick. But you know what? You know what tops those? I, I love Dynamite David Hardy and I love Breslin, but Juice. Juice yeah. is any fucking time that dude wants to be on. Yeah, Juice is definitely one I definitely enjoyed as well. And of course, oh, Kylie's didn't... episode because she's crying about that. Oh, yeah. You try to be on the show. Said Juice can... like... Huh? You said Juice can come back anytime he wants, so can he pull out David and just pop in? I mean, you remember that when I, it was me, it was supposed to be me and Cody. Oh, no, yeah, and Jay, yeah, and, and he Davey showed up out of nowhere. And I think we also had Davey on the show, too. That's when Davey interrupted the show. Uh, that was, that was literally right after he debuted. Wait, what happened? <laughs> it was the episode after you was with GCC. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we had Cody on the show, we had Robbie on the show as well. And David just comes out, hey guys! Like, uh, what the fuck are you doing here? You're not invited here. To be fair, that episode was slightly saved. Yes, because it was. I think y'all didn't have too much going on. You said we, that time we ran, you, out and of you, were, you were like, literally, like, do not ever do this again. But well, thank you because <laughs> it wasn't really that at the time. And Cody can always come back. Cody is always welcome. Chase is another one that is always welcome to come back. Those two in particular. But the thing is, at that point, Cody was a last-minute guest. And it's like, I couldn't tell him no. You know what I mean? It would have it hurt Robbie, for sure. Because Robbie's like, oh, you should have him on the show. And he kept nagging about me, like, dude, you got to have him on the show. got to have him on the show. What the fuck? I was giving you suggestions. He was giving uh, me I'm ideas. And, you reach out. You know, and, so, yeah. I think <sighs> the worst moment, and, and to be honest, you know, we love him. He's good people. He's he's cool as hell. You know, he's gave us great support. But it's the episode of Michael Tomzik, man. That was just that was a tough one. And and not not that I'm saying it was a bad episode. It was bad on him because of his audio or his no his video. His video was bad, I think. Whatever. I Tech issues happen all the time. Yeah, you you, look, you, you could watch. Look, look what's going with me. You could watch. You could watch like Fox News or CNN or whatever, and you'll see them having people in. Uh, yeah, on with tech issues. So, <laughs> yeah, that's right. They just no, keep but, uh, In all seriousness, Mike's Michael was very one. Michael was one of the very first supporters for us. But man, his 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 things are. Bleh. But no, like he was one of my very first guys that actually believed in us. Like, hey, you guys are gonna do it, you guys are gonna kick ass. Same thing with Juice. Juice was another one. Juice came on the show three times. Um, and it's like what Dan said, he's always welcome to be back on the show. And we we're planning on doing that episode with uh 
We're also planning to do an episode Worlds Collide. That's coming soon. We're, we're in talks of doing it. Well, and we you know got to do it. Well, and you know what's crazy, and it's because of Nick too. Me and Juice have developed a friendship outside of this shit. We talk like twice a week on the phone now. Oh God, that Juicy. Like romance, though. Well, I mean, we just shoot the shit. We talk music. He gives us a, he, you know, gives us advice for the show. I'm about to text him like, "Hey, so, so you, just, so you stealing my friends from me?" <laughs> Who put I'm, that? More, <laughs> I'm more like that's juicy. <laughs> that's yeah. juicy. Where is that mother effer anyway? I'm trying to text him. Ah, yeah. I've been feeling so wrong, that's that's yeah. damn we talk to juice. <laughs> no, it's more like, oh, you gotta play Pony by Genuine. <laughs> I told him, I said, hey, oh no, I didn't see that tonight. That's what that is the cap for me. You know what? <laughs> We're gonna get. <laughs> I didn't sign up flagged. for this. This wasn't in the contract. <laughs> that that, 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 that one's for you, Kristen. Eat your heart out. <laughs> Who's Kristen? My wife. Oh, well, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm oh, like, who are you, people? <laughs> no, but um, Robbie, your, fi- your your favorite favorite moment. I thought you were about to say, Robbie, you're fired. I'm about to say, you just hired him. <laughs> you're fired. <laughs> You you fired. Done. <laughs> oh, they're shitting in my freaking house. Invisible man's voice. Huh? Yeah, do an invisible man's voice. You're fired. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, but. I think one of my favorite moments, another one was with Robbie, when Robbie first started the show, whenever he came on. And uh, we had to put out Audible because Joey was very sick. But the show ga- the show had to go on. And so it was myself, Dan, and Robbie. And we sound like a bunch of idiots on the mic. It's like, Jesus Christ, we're trying to, trying to make this show great and all that. It, it, which it was. It, it got very decent amount of views. It was pretty good. And all that good stuff. But my personal favorite moment, and we're going to wrap this up, was when I met Diamond Alice Page and DDP did a shout out to our podcast. He did a video of our podcast. Like, he did a shout out. I recorded him. He was super cool about it, super nice. And he's like, man, I hope you guys succeed. I hope you guys do well. And it's like, man, get that rough from DDP. That was pretty awesome. You know what I'm saying? So, we're about to wrap this up again. Uh, we we asked you guys at home on the com in the comments. Where's your favorite water kayfabe moment? Drop it in the comments. We'll gladly read it out. We'll probably make fun of one of y'all's favorite moments. Not really, but anyway. This is the venomous one, Nick Venom, along with my two good friends, Stagger the Crocker, Dan the Man, and the other two cluts, Robbie Elder and Davy Dix. I mean Davy Galaxy. I mean El Galactico. This is us from Water Kayfabe saying so long and good night. Make sure to also subscribe to our channel. Make sure you tap in that notification bell and we don't miss out on any of our content whatsoever when we go live or when we get uploaded. Also follow us on our social media accounts. Facebook being Water Kayfabe. Instagram being Water Kayfabe. Twitter even being Water Kayfabe. Can't uh, miss out some good shit. I'm waiting for the subreddit. Yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen, as you know, the ultimate warrior. Fuck it. It's publicly stated that. Damn it, who put that up? Is that $200 an hour? That's all. Oh, me gusta.